كم شغلات الجزء الثالث من المحاضرة ورجاء ما تنسون تسوون سكان للباركود الموجود بأول سلايد حتى نسجل الحضور مالتكم آه. مثل ما قلنا first of all we have to do the flap and then reflect it and when I reflect the flap I need to make sure I can easily see the operation side and I'm not going to cause any tension to the soft tissue so that's why I prefer to go with the vertical releasing decision شباب هاي الحاشية اللي داخل الصورة مطلوب منكم تقروها المحاضرة مثل ما تشوفون كلش طويل انا حاول تختصرها قدر الامكان ما راح انزل في دي يعني محاضرة مثل ما علمتكم سلايدات واحد والمحاضرة واحد هي هاي المحاضرة نفسها السلايدات تقروها اليوم Okay, once we reflect the flap, now I see the bone easily. So I need to see the complete crown of the tooth, of the impacted tooth, down to the level of the cervical line. يعني لازم أشوف الكرام كله بتوز البلين كله وأنزل أشوف السرفايكال لين مال التوث بكر. هاي الكمية مال البون هاي غير كافية. أنا شايل بون هنا أنزل السرفايكال لاين والمنا the areas that I have to remove the bone from gonna be on the buckle and occlusal and most important thing this time okay once I remove the occlusal bone and the distal bone I go to the buckle and till go down till I see or reach the level of the cervical line of the impacted tooth now. I'm gonna do some ditching movement, like push the bear between the tooth and the girder bone and the castle's bone just to take a space. And this is how in Okay. Uh, I'm going to the criteria, Martin. Let me see all the occlusal plane and expose the cervical line of the impacted tooth. The bears are going to start round bear number eight. And this pair is number 703, the Fisher one. This one is the four ball removal. This one is for ditching and sectioning of the tooth. And never ever use the contra-angle hand piece of the turbine. Use the straight hand piece with irrigation. Now, step number three, which is sectioning of the tooth. Uh, let's go back a little bit. Sometimes when I reflect the flap, sometimes I don't need to remove the bone. Like I will see the crown of the tooth fully. Okay, it's going to be a soft tissue impaction. Some, but mostly I need to take some bone. And when we take some bone, then I have to section the tooth. So. The most important thing when we do sectioning, it's never ever go to the lingual side. Always stay on the buckle. So cut up to the uh, two thirds of the width of the tooth. Maro house al lingual. Leish tan adna lingual nail tan al qarib min adna al lingual al bon ikun very thin. I want to say that either. So daiman al axis ahna adna lil. Third point of removal done, and you come back up. Mark or access in the most high. Hence, once I do a reflection, a sectioning the tooth, I'm going to have a third thin sin. I'm the third of my other side. I just add a chisel or elevator vertically by the middle, or for the clockwise or anti-clockwise, and separate the roots. Sectioning has it. The sectioning is determined based on the angulation and the morphology of the root. Angulation of the impacted tooth and the morphology. So I see this is a mesoangular. I can cut the distal part of the clown down below the cervical line and remove this piece first. Then I will put the chisel on the mesial part of the crown and luxate it and push it distally to take the tooth out. This is a scenario when we have a fused or a single root. But sometimes this one is uh, vertical 
this is this tone. Sometimes in the meter angular, I don't need to do it so. I just go, if I have two roots, I need to go down vertically and separate the tooth into two pieces of the roots. And we can go vertically, and we can go vertically. Again, this is the horizontal. I need to expose the crown up to the cervical line. Okay, then section. I need to take more bone here at this area, especially on the mesial side. Then section the crown. Cut the crown from the roots. Take the crown first. Then take the. This one is a distal root. And take the mesial root. Right. So, so let it left the top, the lateral crown, let the lateral down the top one, then the lower one. Other vertical impaction, let's see, she sectioning below the cervical line and cut the tooth into uh, two halves. The crown into two halves. I will take either I will go deep to cut the two roots, the crown into two halves, or cut the crown all deep into two halves and take them one by one. This is the most difficult one. As you see, guys, I took almost too much bone distally. And, uh, and the amount of bone removed is, if I compare it with the previous one, is going to be massive. I have the so cervical, distally, or cruiser. Okay. Then, cut the crown. Then, you will see the combination of the If you see, guys, let's draw it here we have something called the path of a draw the <laughs> شيلة بعدين الروتس تطلع مثل ما ذي نحن بعد الطريق نتبعوا على حركة الجزم كلها روتيشن بوت ورا ما سوينا سكشنينج دليفري توث يكون يا أما بكرين بيك جزل إليفيتر أو أبيكسو this one is not pixel a pixel a pixel elevator and the priors you, we have to remember one thing. There is no need to extract any excessive force to remove the tooth. Only gentle relaxation is going to be good because if we do so, apply excessive force, we're going to end up with either tooth fracture or bone fracture, even mandible fracture. Then, prepare for suturing. Check for any tooth remnants or pieces of foreign body. Remove any sharp bone with bone filings. Irrigate well. Suture with 3 or silk or micro. And this one is the resorbable one, which is must be should be used, but in Iraq we don't use it. Minimum gonna put three stitches or four stitches and give the post operative instruction to the patient. So this is the end of our lecture for today. I hope you guys, you, uh, like everything's gonna be, uh, had, had been cleared for you guys. In case if you have any question, please let me know by sending me the, uh, your questions on the comment. ما في شيء مسبب في مشكلة في اللور ثيرد مولر أنا جاوبتها وشرح لها السامات إحنا دائما كل شيء نحطه في الموضوع بالميزان فالرموفال أو في الأبر توث أسهل وقوية خاصة هو فولي أرابتد لما دام دي يظهر عن السوفت شو من اللور ثيرد مولر منها فولي أرابتد فالإكستراكشن مالت أسهل وقوية من ما أشيل اللور ثيرد مولر بالإضافة هو الأبر ثيرد مولر من يطلع وتعامل يكون هو واحد من سبب المشكلة يسوينا ال 
البريكونايتس من الأول ثالث مرة ما شوف هالشيء تكون أسهل وعند نشيل أكيوز توث أو ويجا نوب the source of problem okay and again إن شاء الله تكون محاضرة سهلة صحيح هي طويلة بس يعني حاول تقصر قدر المكان لا تنسون سونس كان للباركود هذا ونشوفكم على خير إن شاء الله مع السلامة